Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter World Iceborne, where today we've got a Fatalis to play with. I'm just loading into my file right now, just in case there's any NPC chatter as we load in. I expect there will be. So, yeah. And my expectations have been dashed. How's Hans? You know, I don't think I ever told you before. But once I get through some work I have on my plate, I was thinking about heading back to the old world for a bit. Oh, why? The field team leader said he wanted to come with me too. Mm. But with the way things are going now, it's gonna be a while before we head back. Huh? Why can't I go back soon? <laughs> Did no one clue you in yet? <sighs> Got to lock it all. I just remembered. I was supposed to clue you in. The field team leader wanted me to find you. He said he needed you. Okay. Come on. Let's go and see what he wants. I like that. Everyone here? Good. Let's get started. I like that we actually got voice for Gaja Lock it all. We have two things on the agenda today. First, we received a report from our scouts, and we've got trouble brewing. Uh-oh. An Alatreon has been spotted again in the secluded valley. Again? Again? It's back already? How? Yeah, I thought I killed it. To be honest, the scouts also had their doubts. If we don't get rid of that thing quickly, it's going to cut a huge swath of destruction across the new world. You already have a special assignment prepped. Once you're ready to go, depart for the secluded valley. What's going on? Why does this keep happening? For reals. First we had that red dragon show up, and then an Alatreon right after. These kind of events are too big to be a coincidence. So what, uh, this is also supposed to happen before we get word on what Safi Jiva is called? The new world and our hometowns are just part of a bigger ecosystem. Let's hope nothing on this scale is happening over there. Yeah, this is all very worrying. So what's the other thing you had to discuss? Ah, right. My grandfather had to return to the old world for a bit. Huh? Why? What happened? No idea. I just heard he was summoned by the guild to return immediately. That's... some kind of timing. Yeah. I understand that you're all worried, but the only thing we can do until he returns is to get rid of that Alatreon. Understood? Okay. Yes, sir. You're not gonna make me actually hunt another Alatreon, are you? No. Oh. Dawn's Triumph, huh? Okay. Wait. Why is excitable A-lister saying, ah, that's right? Yeah, whatever. I don't see anything. So, let's... Uh, special assignment, special assignment. Over here. We don't gotta go into the gathering hub. It didn't tell us to go there. Um. Well, if it's Alatreon. Then let's do this just in case. But let's also hide our helmet so that we can see the ca character's expressions. Uh. Where is it? Uh, we want over here, and then head armor. Hide in cutscenes only. There we go. Half past time for a new quest, eh? So let's see what's the deal with Dawn's Triumph. The burning Alatreon has once again been spotted. To make matters worse, news has spread of cataclysmic natural disasters occurring in the old world. Timing of these events is curious to say the least. They merit further investigation, but Alatreon comes first. So they say burning Alatreon, so I am guessing ice is the right thing to bring. And let's actually gourmet vouch this so that I can eat myself a tasty veggie platter. Though I think I've got... Uh, 
a veggie thing. The yeah, that's what I like. Moxie veg. Might as well watch this. We don't get to watch it very often. I want to eat all of this, like, right now. Please. So we've got our items, we've got our fulgur bugs, we've got our armor, and we've got our food. So let's go play with Alatreon, I suppose. I thought we were going to be playing with Fatalis, but I guess Alatreon comes first. Oh good, we start up here. How is it back so quickly? Something bad's happening. Yeah, especially when you consider that I already killed it. Um, well, let's, uh, demon drug. Dash juice. Might seed. Evasion mantle. And go. Forgot to grab rocks. Yeah, probably shouldn't have opened with Demon Dance, in retrospect. Not my best move. Also not my best move having my cat bring that weapon. At least it is indeed fire, Alatreon. That helps. No, I don't want wet fish fin. <laughs> I wanted the other one. There we go. Poor me. I was not paying attention when he enraged. But uh, whatever. I'm running out of great sushi fish scales, but might as well use them. Alright, so this is going to start out and come in. Out. Okay. Uh, please heal me before I die, armor skill. Okay, <laughs> that was close. Alright. Already got our first pod drop. Be nice if this guy actually let me get on his arms and wound him. Leg is fine, but arms would be preferred. Uh, right. I should be using ancient potions. Oh, wait. That's pods two over there. Or over here. Yeah, that's... That's the second set of pods. Do, does this Altreon have, like, no health? Is that what's going on here? That's a third set of pods. Well, thank you for getting out of the air so fast. Let's sharpen up. Starting out going in, good to know. Doesn't really change much, this move is like the safest thing. There we go. And since he gave us this, we might as well also get that face. Though we... Okay, 
we got a horn. I was going to say we actually need to get a horn, but then we got a horn before I could finish saying it. Ooh, nice para. And there's a second element flinch. So let's just do some damage. And there's judgment. So let's have this jerky now. We had two element flinches so we can just relax here. There. I could have done nothing and still survived. Nice drooly flinch. Sure, I could have clutched on, but a full demon dance is fine. Yep, definitely a low health Alatreon. Uh, yeah, my, me. He, he only lost one horn, and that is injurious to my state of mind. Yeah, was this like a baby Alatreon or something, or is it supposed to be canonically weakened from previous encounters? Even though the ones we've encountered previously were, like, actually dehorned. And also, th they appeared to have been killed just like this one, so, like, yeah. Goal is to slay Alatreon, and I have done it. Th there's no way this can be the same one. Either that or the definition of slay has changed recently. Oh boy, I am Master Rank 350 now. That's a nice round number. But yeah, we're not just here for a tiny Alatreon. Tiny health-wise. Awesome work, dude. Thanks. The field team leader's waiting. Let's check in. Good work taking care of Alatreon. I knew I could count on everyone. Uh-huh. I've never experienced such power before. I hate to think what had happened if something like that showed up in the old world. Yeah. Though, I mean, Alatreon has showed up in the old world. That's where it was first encountered. I mean, the Monster Hunter Tri was a real game. Chief, I think we should warn the guild about the growing number of incidents when we send off our next report. Then, to be honest... Uh, 3U and Portable 3rd and Generations and Generations Ultimate. Was Altrion in Generations? I know he was in Gen U. Yeah, those were all real games, you know. The guild collects intel on monster behavior in each region, but they also gather disaster reports. We can send them what we have so they can prepare for a worst case scenario. You've got a point. Make the necessary preparations. Understood. Oh, before I forget. Seems like the commander has returned to Astera. Well, that didn't take long. Really? He's back already? Hey, I got an idea. How about when you report in on the Alatreon investigation, you pester him until he spills the beans on why the guild summoned him? Good idea, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Do we really need to get in his business? <laughs> Okay, okay. I'll give you the papers. Speak to the commander when you're ready. Uh, sure.
Oh, I forgot. Everyone has an exclamation mark from when I completed some quest or other way back when. But that's fine. We're only here for the commander. Greetings, Hunter. I just looked over the report on the Alatreon investigation. And did you find anything interesting? We'll be sending this off to the guild immediately. As always, splendid work. Speaking about the guild, why'd you go visit? Hmm. I see. I suppose it does make sense that the guild summoning me would cause gossip to spread. Right. This is probably as good a time as any to let you know what's happening. Is it a fatalis? The truth is, a large-scale joint operation between various countries and organizations has been in the works for some time. The research commission has been requested to join the operation. Oh. They believe our expertise with unidentified life and ecologies and our outstanding record in the field will be an asset. Let's prove them right. Okay. Now then, we have a guest here in Astera that will detail the operation. Representatives from each unit will be in attendance. Of course, we'll need you there, too. Come. All right. everyone here? Good. Then let us begin, Council. As I told everyone, an international joint operation is currently in the works. The Research Commission has been requested to join the operation. Our guest will provide us with the details. Thank you, Commander. I'm in charge of this joint operation, and I hope to get to know each of you soon. Hmm? You? You're with the Commission. General! It's an honor to see you again. <laughs> Never expected to see a familiar face in the new world. <clears throat> My apologies. We'll have to make some time to talk later. Now, let's get down to the heart of the matter. Several rare phenomena have occurred in various parts of the world, and we've also received reports from our special disaster unit. Small intermittent quakes, forest fires breaking out so frequently that there is enough smoke to blot out the sun. I'm sorry, are we talking about California right now? I feel like we're talking about California right now. Endemic life and monsters alike are disappearing, and even the elder dragons are becoming more scarce. No one has any theories. However, we located in our records one past occasion when all these current events did happen. Just one. Let me ask, have any of you heard of trade before? Yeah, I've been there a few times. Fought a few fatalises there. Yes! The glorious country of Shreid. I remember reading it was a powerful nation that suddenly disappeared ages ago. No one knows what happened to it. And the region of Shreid is off limits to everyone, from what I've heard. You're well read, I see. Then you must know of the legends they speak of Shreid. Yes, the story of Shreid's demise. An incredible monster burned the country down to the ground in a single night. But why are you bringing this up now? Records of trade are scant, but they do exist in various forms, such as diplomatic documents or personal diaries. Around the time when trade was destroyed, we discovered several passages from one article. Earthquakes, forests burning, Birds and monsters gone, no sun, elder dragons disappearing. Then several months later, trade disappeared. <laughs> no way, that, that can't be right. I understand that catastrophic elder dragons have appeared in the new world. It was no coincidence. This is inevitable. Everything is happening again and it heralds the return of the one that obliterated trade the black dragon fatalis a nightmare that lives only in legend all right so fatalis not fatalis even though it's uh it's based on the latin term fata for whatever uh, Guild and every country have declared that Fatalis will appear in Castle Strait again and have called for its extermination. Our assignment will be to prepare for its eventual appearance and slay the beast. All right. When is it expected to show up in Castle Strait? 
I believe your uh, subtitle missed an R there. We cannot say for certain, but if we take the records we found at face value, we have a few months before it shows up. Do we know its current location? No, we have no information on that. Nothing to tell us where it's coming from or where it's going. Well, uh, have you seen any Lao Shan Lung running away from things recently? Information is so scarce that it's more accurate to call this the Fatalis event. Okay. Is it even possible to take it down? Yes. If we don't, everything will perish. What we can do now is alert every participating nation and prepare ourselves. The research commission will need to mobilize quickly. The general and I will depart first, ahead of our main force. We'll do our best to get a grasp of the situation. We'd like to request that you hunters accompany us. Okay. Yes, sir. And before it turns out, Fatalis is... Gather the entire commission and explain what's going on. For now, we want you to get yourselves ready. And before we get there to discover Fatalis is already almost there and we've got no time to prepare. I shall guide us to Castle Shred. This will be a long struggle, but I know we'll make it through this. All right. That brings council to an end. Dismissed. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, change to my standard equipment. Prefer the look of it for cutscenes. Um, wait, was I supposed to talk to someone? Or is there a special assignment? Is there an anything? Okay. Oh, good. It's nice to see Fatalis finally have an icon. It is time for us to confront Fatalis. We, along with every nation and organization known, shall rid this world of this fabled scourge. When you're ready, we'll set sail. Alright. Might as well vouch it. Considering I've got five vouchers waiting for me the moment I press the triangle button. Eh, well, let's gourmet vouch it. Why not? You can't stop me. Let's do our moxie veg again, just in case. Don't know which game this Fatalis will take after, but I can probably expect to see at least Fire Blight. Except not, because haha, we ate our veggies. Blast Blight might also be a thing if it takes after the 4th gen Fatalis. Or sorry, Fatalis. Should have turned head armor display back on. Because now that we've just got an eye patch. Thanks. Strategy left arm. You're all prepped. Gotcha. This here? Hmm. <laughs> Teaching everyone how to use slingers, huh? Uh, excuse me. Great. <laughs> you ready? Never thought we'd be going back home. Especially like this. When did you get... So nervous? Kishal armor. Believe you me, I get it. 
But my new friend and I will give you all the support you could ask for. Nothing's gonna happen to you while I'm around. <laughs> huh? What the? Okay, we know you're awesome. But I want to know what he thinks. Ah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> what I think about what? Hunters, your attention. This is the layout of Castle Shrade. Weapons from its last stand are still on site. The cannons are here. Okay. Here, the ballistae. Hopefully we can find workable binders to use. You can see railing here. That means there may be a roaming ballista. And finally, a Dragonator. It'll be our ace in the hole. The mechanism is dated, so we'll need to manually fire the weapon. Finally, we have a barricade here. That barricade will need to be triggered manually as well. This is where the lever is. We'll need it in case of emergency. Are we going to drop a portcullis on the Fatalis? It's been a long time since That's we could all. do that. Carve this information into your brain. Yes, sir. Uh, you carve things out of things. Castle Shrade? This still feels like a dream. I know it's cliche, but it's like we're in one of those bedtime stories our parents told us. I know what you mean. The legend of Fatalis has been passed down from generation to generation to generation. Many believed that the story of Fatalis and Castle Shrade was just a fable created after the fact. I never thought those legends would turn out to be true. The word Fatalis was never meant as a moniker for an actual beast. No, it was a word to describe an existence of some kind. But over time, it seems to become known as the name of the monster. So what we're up against isn't a monster. It's actually history. Hmm. We're arriving soon. Steal yourselves. <laughs> I do like how the opening of that scene with the talk in the boat with the A-lister having his mug was a nice book ending based on uh, the opening cutscene of World. General, we've located something. Mm. It really exists. It wasn't just a legend. Amazing. I... I don't know how to put it, but it's like... somehow the past and the present meet up right at this point. However... That wasn't in the blueprints. It's blocking the Dragonator. But then, we can't reach the Ballistae or Barricade either. Was it just slapped together? They fought back Fatalis and then propped it up? I see. So that means in the end, they didn't have time to use their Dragonator. They realized all was lost and abandon the offensive. No. They most likely used it. They knew the stakes. They battled hard, defended their home, but were ultimately outmatched. They fought until the bitter end. If they just gave up, absolutely nothing would have remained once Fatalis was finished. It was not my place to judge them. So then, 
What should we do? With that in the way, we can't use the Dragonator. Let's tear it down. <laughs> Bring people in now. Our forces? I heard they're arriving shortly, sir. Good. They're quick. Once we rendezvous with them, we should have enough manpower. Don't forget about us. Since we brought the wing drakes, we decided to establish a camp up there. All right. We'll need to update the maps too. <sighs> What's wrong? Our main force is arriving soon, right? Correct. Your odds? In my favor, as always. We'll buy everyone some time to escape. No! This is madness! Retreat now! We can't have any missteps. Go get it done, then. Yes, sir. To the camp! Hurry! Underestimating those two hunters was your biggest misstep. Believe me, I know all too well. General. <laughs> It'd be cool if we ever got to see evidence of the excitable A-lister being a competent hunter. But we've never seen him in action. At least I don't remember having ever seen him in action. Uh, drop the portcullis, quickly. Oh, too late now. He's actually going for it. It's still a monster. Your head must be a weak one. Ow. Okay. That was some damage. Okay, I am very much a fan of the sound design on this thing. Eh, we don't need dash juice. Can't climb up on that? Okay. Hey, time to give you a refresh. Are you gonna life powder me? Is that what's gonna happen here? Ooh, we got a ledge. Oh, we got the sit and sweep. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Look at me. Yeah. Sound design on this guy, really good. The cutscene leading up to the fight was also really good. They've done a lot right here. I wonder, what else can I wound? Hands, back legs, okay. Wonder if we can get on the chest, or if wounding the hands does the chest. Looks like wounding the hands does the chest. Hey, 
Ow. Oh, uh, thanks. So he does, in fact, do life powdering. And that big fireball does a lot of damage even through Rocksteady. And, uh, Excitable A-Lister, have you considered that maybe what's taking the group so long is the fact that all the bridges to get here were just destroyed? You've got a gun! Whoa, that's new. All right, consider its midsection attacked. I like that they're actually having us feel more like we're cooperating with an NPC here. All right, now to zero sum this face. Again, have, have you considered the bridge thing? Okay, so it's definitely, uh, okay. It's definitely retained some moves from Gen 4 but it has not seemed to retain the blast powder which i'm i'm fine with that thanks moxie um he said dust of lifetime that was a life powder heal i know a life powder when i feel one so a problem with them telling me hit the face hit the face the face is where all the hot stuff comes out of. Thanks. But again, that was a life powder. I can see that. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Stunned. I'm fine. Everything's fine. See, look how fine I am. Come on, girl. Let's go. Let's not stand in that. I just I feel like when a monster is doing a downward breath that's that intense. It's probably not a thing that I want in my life. Well, that's new. Can you even really do much to me when I'm clutched on here? Because if not, then... I mean, hey, I just get to sit there... Do them pop, pop, pop. Also, voice said abdomen... But text said stomach. Okay. Oh, really? That fire breath hurts. Don't worry, I'll hold it off. Make sure you're ready to fight. Oh, I like how everyone's here. That's cool. Come back to- Oh, and you can even see down into the arena from up there? That is really cool. Okay, anytime now. 
There we go. I can see that. Oh, um, goodbye that. Is it retreating? Nope. Nope, too early to celebrate. Oh, do we need to take cover? The Dragonator. I'll confirm now. We'll signal when ready. SOS flare. The mission. They're finally here. Oh. Not SOS. Those two hunters managed to buy us enough time. Now we have a glimmer of hope. We can't let it die. No time to waste. Hurry! Yes, yes sir. sir. <laughs> Come on, man, you gotta be okay. Damn. Uh, looks like I'll never be like him. Hey, guys! Two things. First, the roaming ballista in the barricade can now be used. The Dragonator's being prepped. When the time comes, make use of them. Second, the main group is here. We can now call for help. <laughs> SOS flare enabled. Go, I'll take care of him. This thing is a reality partner. That just means I know you can kill it. Mm hmm. Why does he get a handler cart? The fort's barricade is to be so yeah, they have definitely done some really neat things with the cutscenes for this fight. Yeah, I probably should have moved out of the way. <laughs> Um, no, I, I don't need, don't need ration, need health. The thing that makes me not dead. Hey, uh, Fatalis, you want to not hang out directly above the ballista that they're asking me to use? Well, at least I can turn it to face you. Okay, so some parts of it clearly take more damage than others. Okay, I was uh, trying to move it, but it is camera-centric with how it moves. Oh, okay. So if you're at the edge of that, that still counts. We're learning things. This is a learning experience. A learning experience with some very cool cutscenes. Also, this is the first game to make it actually feel like Fatalis can do the things they always said it could. Yes. 
Just getting ourselves immune to Fireblade, and hey, getting Moxie back is nice. Also, it sounds like there's a bird. Is there endemic life here? Front arms are still wounded. I know the patch increased the duration of wounds, but to this extent? Not that it's not appreciated. I doubt they made this guy's tail severable. And because of that doubt, I'm gonna not even try, but, like, I kind of wish that I had cause to try. Oh, snap, I dodged that big fireball without even the temporal mantle. Just sidestepped it. Please tell me there's another binder to use at some point. Okay, so that's just... You melt. You melt very fast. Wasn't much I could do about it either. Zero sum is fun. But it's... Wait, do we not have the combines to make more? No, we do. Oh, it's we already have a full inventory. That's what's going on. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Oh, it was just a max, not ancient. All right. Back at it. So, we actually choose when to hop off this thing. But we can't do a jumping attack, which kind of defeats the purpose in my eyes. Um, can we send this guy into a wall? We can definitely flinch shot it. There was just no wall right there. Oh, wind effect on that fire breath. Honestly, I feel like that crawl forward using the wings and just belly sliding, that move. It's more silly than anything. Hey, still mountable. Um, Cat, that was absolutely not the time to paralyze it. I do like that it's it just lays down nice and cooperatively while paralyzed. But for reals, don't paralyze it while I'm mounting it. Come on. We need more chances to hit its face, not fewer. I'm gonna do something stupid. Okay, wasn't as stupid as I expected. Okay, we're flying again. That's fine. I also like how Fatalis' theme in this game isn't just Rathalos' theme, but with a choir. Okay, so how do I reload it? says reload, but how does one do the that? Oh. I wasn't even looking at it, and it was doing the move that kills you. Not the move that can kill you, just the move that kills you. Hmm. 
We haven't even broken anything yet. I have a feeling I'm going to fail this quest. Just a sneaking suspicion. That would be nice if there was another binder we could use. There might be. Let's see if we can find one. No, just ballista. Wait, this is a binder. Here, have that. So, big buddy, you know it would be super cool if you got to a place where I could send you careening into a wall. But for now, we'll just do this. Oh. I guess it's on all fours now. Yes, please continue this direction. That's a good big lizard. Okay, that was less good. Go ahead and get this all wounded up. Pearl Mantle's almost up. That'll make it really easy to get the slaps off. Of course, so will this. Into the wall, please. Good. Just damage, but hey, just damage is acceptable. Because just damage is one of the things we need to do. Ow. Let's grab that. Of course it's an old dragon treasure. Oh, I'm stunned. That, that's, no. <laughs> that was not good. Hopefully I'll be able to pick up from all the post cut scenery when I try it again in multi. That would be nice. Oh well, that's going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when we're going to bring that beast down. See you then, friends. <laughs>